All right, another day, another dollar. Welcome to Kirstie's Shit Show. I'm Kirstie. I'll be your host. Hi, Drew. Yay, people are logging on. Sweet. So this kind of worked yesterday-ish. Um, I feel like if you had a box of wine with you and every time I said the word super or super cute, you'd be so wasted by now. So wasted. So my goal on this one is to not say the word super. <laughs> okay, last time I'm saying it. Um, and I just got to kind of keep watch out the parking lot in case anybody comes and I'll have to jump off really fast. So... Fallon, this mustard shirt. Yeah, I have it. I have three left. Come and get them. First come, first serve. So I try to be a little bit more prepared today. Got my notes. So there's just a few things I want to go over. Um, when's turn 40? I cite the first to go, the first to go. All right. Well, for anybody who's new, I'm just going to introduce myself. My name is Kirsty, and I am the owner of Wild Dixie Boutique. We are a 33 foot long vintage travel trailer. It's kind of like an Airstream. It's called a Silver Streak, but you guys get the idea. It's round and blah, blah, blah. Um, we just opened up a couple weeks ago probably like no oh, two or three weeks ago um it originally had this idea for the business a couple years ago and I flew down to um LA with one of my besties and we went to fashion week and we met all the vendors and I looked through my closet of all of the clothes that I love specifically went and talked to them um and let me see are some new questions coming in do, do, do. Fallon, I'll get back to you on the sizes because I know the tags are kind of hidden, but, um, okay. Anyways, um, if I get off topic, which is going to happen, I promise you, um, just, you know, write to me. Hi, Baxter. <laughs> um, we, uh, we, uh, because we're a mobile trailer, um, uh, we can go anywhere. So if you have a business that you want um, you know, like a little pop-up shop, if you're having like, uh, anything to kind of attract, you know, drive by traffic to your business. Um, we're pretty good at that because we're super different. I don't know if there's, I don't, I don't even know if there's any mobile boutiques that are in, oh, super shit. I'm doing it again. Okay. Thanks through. Thanks through. <clears throat> no more supers. Supers are done. We both know that's probably not the case. Um, Okay, back on track. Focus. Oh, Boeing parking lot. That would be good. Yeah, so because we're a vintage travel trailer and I put like racks and mannequins and just fun stuff outside too, it really attracts a lot of people. Um, we decided to go, uh, this, my uh, boyfriend, baby daddy, you know, whatever. Um, he's the one who did all the construction. Hi, Harvey Pooh, if you're watching. Um, we decided to do the mobile route because it's cool, it's unique, and really, especially in today's economy, I don't want to get stuck with a brick and mortar payment. I don't want to get, I, I get bored super easily, super easily. So I really just, I, if I can pick up and move to a different location, that's what I'll do. So, um, so speaking of that, where we are at right now is, um, out at Sharps Corner in Anacortes. Um, on the way to Anacortes, it's a big roundabout that everybody crashes on, and the whole town was, you know, super excited for. Uh, we're, that's where we're at. We're out there. We're at the roundabout um, where you turn off on Highway 20 to go to Whidbey Island. So, kind of the, if, if anybody is watching right now, and you know anybody on Whidbey Island, please tag them. Tag them. The word's kind of getting out in Anacortes. Now I want to hit Whidbey Island Market. So if you know of anybody who um, you think they might like the clothes or just want to come and bring a box of wine and shoot the shit with me, tag them. 
Tag them. Tag them. Um, this week, I, I'm i here about 10, usually kind of the, I pick my own hours, but um, I'm usually here about 10 to 5, um, but please reach out to me. Drew, am I doing it again? <sighs> Super sorry. Um, uh, if we, hours, okay, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna read you guys just yet. I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, but reach out to me if you are getting off work late and you um, would like to come shopping. I will totally stay for you guys. I just don't wanna stay here and, you know, waste family time if nobody's coming. Um, so that's my, please tag would be girls, please. Would be girls, we want you, come shopping. Um, and then after a while, we'll move on. We hit the Burlington Market, Mount Vernon, Cedro Woolley. But um, if you can't get out here, I have about half of my inventory on um, our website, www.wilddixieboutique.com. Um, and we also have pre-sales on there, so I post if I've got anything cute really coming in that I've ordered like a lot of inventory for, um, I'll post it on there. One of the reasons I don't post all of my inventory on there because it, it turns super quick. And um, I really am trying to focus on getting a lot of plus size pieces in here. We've got some, but they're, um, they're a lot harder to find um, when I'm searching through my vendors. Hold on, talking too much. So in some cases, um, I'll find like, there's only a couple plus size left, but they're really cute. I didn't say super Drew, I didn't say it. Um, they're really cute. So I'll just buy them, but it's kind of pointless just to put them on the website when somebody could walk in the door 10 minutes later and purchase them. So that's kind of who we are, what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna check while I stop talking, see if there's any questions, no, okay. Give me questions though, guys, because right now, I just talked to myself. Hi, my name is Kirsty. I'm a schizophrenic, and so am I. That's what it feels like right now. Um, bah, bah, bah. So I'm probably gonna take Thursday off. So I'm gonna be out here at Sharps Corner um, all week. I'm gonna take Thursday off just because if you look at my house, I got a lot of catching up to do. And I got some kids that need their mom, so. Thursday's gonna be off and the weather's gonna be kind of crappy too. It's gonna be crappy on Friday, but I'm gonna tough it out. Um, I just won't have racks and stuff outside, so I'm not as noticeable. Um, but Thursday will be off and then, I think we're gonna pull out of here Friday night because we have a party on Saturday. So, party you ask? Who wants to know more about parties? Um, if you have any birthday parties, girls night out, neighborhood block party, holiday events. You guys look, I'm prepared. <laughs> um, call me up, we'll come there, we'll pull up. You you can have us for a couple hours. Um, we just require a minimum of eight girls to be there. Uh, that way it kind of is worth our time. But if you wanted to just do a private shopping event and you know come to where the trailer is at too, I'm happy to book that out too. So um, with COVID it's kind of, I don't allow too many people in the trailer. So if you come with a couple of girlfriends, you guys are all in the car together. Yeah, come on in. Um, but if I have some strangers, I just kind of politely ask people to wait outside. And you know, it's it's not very big anyways. Not a lot of room. Um, with the home parties though, you, whoever is the host, um, they get rewards. So. I just had a sandwich and I'm like burping it up right now. <laughs> I'm hoping it's just air that keeps coming up. Um, uh, we, the hostess gets rewards. So if she has a lot of people or even if she opened, like if she, if you, if you were to book it out, book the trailer, have your select group of friends, and then you decide you want to open it up to the public too. Whoever comes to the trailer and spends money that goes towards your credit. So you get um, a dollar amount off, depending on how much people spend, and then you get a percentage off. So a lot of times you just walk away with free clothes, which is awesome. 
Um, talked about that. Uh, right now we are offering free local delivery because I'm driving out here. Anyways, so Anacort is a super small town. Um, so if you see something that you want, I can just send you a quick invoice and um, I'll just drop it off tonight. Easy peasy. Um, one thing I added to our store that we should be getting in, I, um, I just did two day shipping yesterday, so hopefully by the end of the week. Um, we have the Fanatic socks, which probably don't mean anything to you, but they're super funny, guys. Super funny. They're the socks that say like, you know, like, well, some of them I can't even say because I know there's going to be younger viewers watching the replay of this. Uh, it, they're the funny socks. They're super funny. And um, I personally don't wear socks, but in the wintertime, my claustrophobic feet need to have a little protection or else when I kick off these boots at the end of the day, it is... Oh, okay. Um, anything else? Da -da -da. Okay, any, if there's any questions, I'll answer questions. But um, other than that, like I showed you guys some tops yesterday, I'm gonna show you the bottoms today. Um, so out on my sail rack, I had some skirts and stuff. So I just pulled a couple um, just to kind of show you guys. And look, I have a rack set up. So those of you that watched my video yesterday that I'm just throwing on the floor. <laughs> okay. And Fallon, if you're still watching, I will find um, your size in this and I'll put it on hold, um, whichever, whichever one it is. Um, okay, so I've got some cute skirts. Mm -mm. Camo. Whitney girls, you love camo. Uh, Cedar Willie girls, you love camo. Mm -hmm -hmm. Just cute little. Um, this one is my favorite. I just got this one in. It's royal blue. And um, I was just looking at some t-shirts, uh, graphic tees yesterday that I wanted to order. I think they'd be super cute with this skirt. Um, but they say, um, I'm a, I'm a good mom with a hood playlist. I'm like, I got shoppers that'll buy that. I'll, I'll wear that. Um, so just a little blue one. I will go back and forth the whole time. Um, these are more like holidays, more formal events, and I have tops that go with all of these, but frankly, I'm too lazy to put together some outfits right now. So, um, gray, and all of these should be on my website for prices. I feel like I wasted a lot of time yesterday just looking at prices. Brown, right there. Brown chicken, brown cow. Um... Two more that I have. This one's really cute. I get it. I'm gonna hold it back. It's got like a goes up in the front. What is that? A line, I think. Um, cream off white. There you go. Oh, I don't need these anymore. <laughs> okay. That's what I really like too. Black. It's pleated super flowy. This, this is like a must for any holiday parties that you're going to. You just throw on a red top and Merry Christmas. All right. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and we got pants. Um, grabbed a couple. I've got uh, plain ones. I put little stickers if you guys are wondering what those white dots are of the size of some people are going through the racks they don't have to dig in and find everything but okay bada bing bada boom um not distressed at all that or i mean they look kind of like worn but you know like the what am i trying to say right here you know this part but there's no holes or anything like that um we've got plain black um, these are plus size too. The first, the first pair that I showed you are plus size. It's really hard to get like regular clothes, like regular sizes, like small, medium, large, and then get plus sizes in the same, 
the same outfit. Some um, vendors just, they'll just send you too small, too medium, too large. Some vendors you can kind of do everything a la carte, but plus sizes, they also cost more, which I think is ridiculous. Um, but I try to keep it, keep the cost, keep the cost low, but it's just when I'm buying, it's hard to find cute things. So, but I'm on it girls, I'm on it. Um, these are just, um, all, all of these are jeggings too. These are just simple black, go with anything. Um, this next pair is the pair that I have on. Look at that, it's super stretchy. Um, so I've got these on, but you guys look at the bottom, which is, it's hiding in my boot right now, but look at the bottom, little crochet bottom. <laughs> Love it. That's what I'm talking about. I love detail. I love just statement pieces that totally stand out and people are always, you know, drawn to them. So, um, I love like crochet detail. You guys saw a lot of the lace pieces just because I gravitate towards them. Um, but anything like basic, any basic tops, basic tanks, solid colors, things like that. I mean, this is a solid color, but it has like a cool detail right there. Um, don't get those at Target. Don't, don't like, I would have to mark those up and they wouldn't be that affordable. Quality probably won't, wouldn't be good. So I'm focused on quality and attention to detail with all my clothes. Okay, last pair of jeggings. These are distressed. Here's the front and the back. Look at that. Oh, ch -ch -ch. Um, Here is, or here are, pardon my grammar, um, just a couple tops I pulled off the sale rack. I wear this one, you guys, it's a, check out the, you see the bottom with like the little rainbow stripe, and then it's also around here. I wear this one, this is like my go-to, like, oh, throw it on, go to the store, whatever, and I always get compliments on this one. It's, it's comfy, it's on sale for 20 bucks, can't go wrong. My sale rack is getting fuller and fuller and fuller as I get more tired of looking at some of these things. Um, this I forgot I even had. I have um, an office in our home that we kind of turned into like a mini boutique and it's got like a little studio and stuff in case I need to take pictures. And I forgot that I had these in the closet. I took them out after Christmas um, last year. And, but we've got these. This is the softest material you will ever find but nothing on the back Just, okay. okay now a lot of people don't like this one I love it and it's a long sweatshirt so it covers all the niblets down there that's that's like a rule in my house if you're gonna wear leggings get the niblets covered we don't need eyes going down to your camel toe um, this this does the trick ladies um, it's cute. It's kind of, oh, you see it? I don't know. I don't even know if my camera's focused or not. It looks kind of like, like a rug, a, a rug my granny would hook and make. Hi, Jalen. You should be in school right now. <laughs> um, anyways, I love this one. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I also have a lot. I don't, can you guys see these? Hmm. Um, little booty covers. So these are like little leg warmers that you can put under your boots. I have short ones. So if you don't want it to be super hot down the rest of your leg, um, short ones, long ones, and socks. Um, and these are cute. You guys look at these. Look at these cute socks. So they can peekaboo out your boot. It's boot season. Time to accessorize. Um, I have some of these totes left, but I think, I think that was about it. Um, if there's anybody, all six of you that are live, you guys, my numbers are just increasing by the day. If anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, otherwise, uh, once again, we are out at Sharps Corner. My website is wilddixieboutique.com find it on the World Wide Web. 
and oh, I think that's it. This is where it gets super awkward again. I don't know how to end it. Casey, now you're logging on? Seriously, now when I like, all right. Okay, love to you all. Come see me, come buy my stuff so I can buy more and that's it. Bye guys. Oh God, see, I can't even end it smoothly. Oh boy. Oh, there's, there's a button actually that says finish. <laughs> okay, bye guys.